from carbon RPMU is going to tell us about the non Abelian dark matter solutions for galactic gamma ray <coughs> space and Celsius 3.5 kV X ray line. So please go ahead. Okay. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, thanks for the, the AMS talk. And then after this cosmic ray, let's look for the gamma ray <laughs> photon and the, the X ray. Today I'm going to talk about this uh, two photon exists. Why is a galaxy center uh, gamma ray exists? The other one is uh, a pulses 3.5 uh, keV X ray exists. So this talk talk is uh, collaborated with uh, uh, Kim Man Yong and uh, uh, Wei Huang Wei Hu who is still there. <laughs> okay. First, uh, let me outline today's talk. First, I will talk about the motivation, why we do so. And then second, I will try to show you how we build this uh, dark matter model. Then, because our dark matter model could, could describe uh, by my Yonana dark matter or the dark matter, then we, we show the summary. Use this, uh, maybe I, I should just use a keyboard, I guess. Yeah. Okay, motivation. Let me summarize. Uh, summarize uh, the, the documented search. So far, uh, for in the collector, so far we didn't see any documented. And then in direct detection, there's uh, two branches. One, uh, one group of uh, uh, director detection search, they say, ah, they find a dark matter, with, which is a Dharma, Kojun, and Chris, and a low mass uh, dark matter region. And then the other branch, uh, such as uh, uh, Sentinel Hunter, CDMS, and the Lux, they keep a very stringent limit. And then for cosmic rays, which uh, we just hear from MS2, the past strong has a high energy uh, post-strong exists, which could be explained by dark matter. However, didn't see anything in the anti-photon. For neutrino, there is some PV neutrin neutrinos. People try to explain it by dark matter. And then gamma ray for fermion, about, for Fermi Lab, uh, which is a, a satellite-based telescope and the, the Hayes ground base telescope. Then uh, they, for Fermi, they report uh, the signature, uh, the hint for this uh, Fermi bubble, and then recently this gal galaxy center exists. Although this is still very controversy. And then for video, uh, WMAP and Planck, they report uh, WMAP, Planck, Hayes for X-ray, XMM, and Newton telescope, they have uh, this, uh, from their data, one can find this uh, 3.55 kV X-ray line. So, okay. <laughs> it looks like uh, he, he don't like my, my talk.
So today's talk is based on this uh, two photon photon axis. Let me remind you, the first gamma ray is uh, based on the galaxy center, and then X-ray is based on the pulses. So the velocity, dark matter velocity in these two astrophysics, astrophysical object is different. And uh, this uh, photon exists from the galaxy center and the pulses. So uh, you, you might know this uh, famous uh, 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 formula, which uh, dark matter uh, contribution comes from. Dark matter particle contribution comes from this uh, an, an, an annihilation causations, dark matter, dark matter to the uh, standard model, then high from uh, dark matter, dark matter to, to, to the four, uh, to the standard model, standard model. And then the MK here is dark matter mass, D and DE here is means hydronization or decay, this is uh, dark matter annihilated to, to photon uh, spectrum. And then there is uh, some factor here is a dark matter profile integrated with a line of sight, which means that if you look at the galaxy center, your telescope open, and then when you rotate, everything inside, all the photons inside should, should be integrated. <coughs> Similar in the uh, Perseus case, except the uh, two, two things different. First thing is uh, the velocity, as I say. The second thing, um, dark matter relative velocity. Second thing is this same factor is uh, a different and formula is the same. And then, because this uh, dark matter uh, uh, dark matter uh, annihilated to the photon photon, this is a monochromatic line. So let me let me show you how how, how do we build this uh, dark matter model. To build a dark matter model, we have to consider a lot of a uh, very basic uh, property. First. Why is the spin of the dark matter? Second, is uh, the charge, the electroweak charge, is uh, what kind of a charge of uh, this dark matter? And then, is this dark matter is a real field or complex field? And then our choice in this case is we choose spin is half. And then, it's formula. Then we choose uh, 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 SU2, this dark SU2. And then, in our case, we we will discuss the case of Mayonana, both Mayonana and the Dirac. And then we introduce eight new fields. And then in which, in which for Mayonana dark matter model, we have a, a two, two scalar fields which can generate the, the mass. And then the birth of uh, this HD can give uh, the next uh, uh, light is the dark matter mass. This uh, this uh, uh, M chi two, and then the birth of uh, delta one two give uh, the mass of uh, this uh, uh, gauge boson. This uh, dark S dark SU two so gauge boson, but S three is a massless. The birth of uh, delta one also generated the Mayonana dark matter mass. You can think about this as a kind of a right-hand neutrino type. And then for the rock, the rock, our oh, dark matter model, same unless this dark matter is a, 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 a the rock mass, a the, the rock mass, so the, we use this uh, HD1 to generate the Dark 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 matter mass, and then I won't bother you too much for this uh, Lagrangian. I'll leave for a second. Then, by counting how many free parameters in our study, we have a dark matter mass. Second, we have a median angle, and then we have a dark matter and the the, the gauge boson coverings in here, and then we also. Because we we are going to sh sh use this uh, resonance, so there is some mass stability. What you keep in mind here we use a minus sign. 
The reason we use the minus size, we want to maintain higher causation in prison, not early universe. I will show you this later again. So let me show you the diagram of uh, gamma ray at the galaxy center and the X-ray in the uh, uh, persons. So dark matter, dark matter, dark matter annihilate to the standard model. And then through this X3, but in here, it's, that, it's very, very different and mechanism. In here, it's dark matter, dark matter annihilated to the second dark matter, the rough dark matter, through the, also through the X3, meeting the 8. And then, this is side 2, the rough second dark matter will emit a photon from the excited state, this is called excited state dark matter, it emit a, a, a photon to the dark, dark matter. And then this uh, a small bubble can, this uh, uh, dot can present to as a, this, uh, can be present as a, this missing by this, this diagram. So, gamma ray exists at the galaxy center. What's the requirement? We, we need first if the, the, this figure is uh, the x axis is the gamma pho photon energy y axis is uh, the uh, flux residual flux in order to reproduce this residual flux we need first no matter is a Dirac or Majorana we need and an annihilation causation at prison, which is a 10 to minus uh, 4c relative velocity, with the order of a 10 to minus 26, cm3 is minus 1. Dark matter mass should be 10 GeV. And then the mass of a mediator should be two times of a dark matter mass. Then with this condition, we let's look, let's have a look at the, the process X-ray. Then in the because the galaxy center gamma ray, it requires dark matter mass at the 10 GeV. In process, because we use this decay, we just uh, this, we use this decay. This so the only thing relevant is the mass difference. So this dark matter mass can be free, but because it's fixed by galaxy center gamma ray, so the annihilation causation to this uh, uh, from this diagram should be order of uh, 10 to minus 19, which is very high. And then same as uh, to, to go through these things because of a missing, so we, we require some resonance. So we use a resonance mechanism. So let me summarize. Summarize the uh, annihilation causation at different time. First, for my another dark matter case, dark, dark matter, dark matter, chi one, chi one to the standard model fermion, and the freeze out with the relative velocity is roughly uh, uh, 0.3 c. The causation is roughly 10 to minus 31, <laughs> and then. For high side, uh, second dark matter, dark matter and annihilated to the uh, fermion form, this is a standard model so now 10 to minus 26, which play the law of uh, play the law to create correct relief density. However, uh, this uh, Taiwan Taiwan annihilated to the, the uh, side two side two, and the freeze out temperature is uh, which is a 10 to minus 24. And then in the current current case, galaxy center is 10 to minus 26, which we need. But because of psi 2 is very quickly decay to the uh, uh, chi 1, so it's nothing left uh, at prison. And then in X-ray, as uh, I just mentioned, we need this and this, same as the rock. But the only thing different is this, these two. Why is 10 to minus 2? 26, which can generate 
Credit risk density. But this one, the rough case, cannot. So you, you might think about if we consider the coannulation and annihilation. We have a chi chi to fermion fermion, psi 2 to so FF bar. How about it? Uh, for the, the lightest the dark matter and the next lightest the dark matter coannulation. Since the coannulation Causation for the lightest and the next lightest dark matter is too suppressed because the exchange in the gauge both of x1 and x2 is heavy and uh, as sorry typo uh, no resonance. So let me use the key uh, schematic uh, picture to show you uh, this model behavior. This is the annihilation causation. X axis is uh, the missing angle psi x. Y axis is this uh, an annihilation causation for different. First one is from gamma ray from the galaxy center. Second one is uh, X ray from the process. And then you can see there is a turning point. When greater than this turning point, psi, this missing angle, psi is missing angle, much greater than the velocity. Then this uh, 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 side, the effect from the side high sh shows up. However, go to the other way, side high doesn't play any law. This is a velocity independent. So means uh, S wave. And then in here, because the velocity play the law, it drops. So this is a P wave. And then to get the correct region for this X-ray and the process, we show in this uh, in two sigma region in this uh, great band. You can see, therefore, we can correct to get get this uh, 10 to minus 19 and uh, 10 to minus 26. Similar for the Dirac, although Dirac case, this allowed missing is even smaller. So the missing angle has to be small in order to satisfy both constraints. Let me show you our result for my lama dark matter. In here, we show two and the three sigma uh, region for from the galaxy center plus the process data. And then the figure on the left hand side and the right hand side, the difference is the uh, right hand side adding the ridiculous density as a constraint as well. So you can see. Two important things. First, uh, x axis is dark matter mass again. Y axis is uh, uh, annihilation causation for X ray. Dark matter, dark matter, dark matter to the X ray. Two two important things. First things you can see there is, there is a very sharp cut in here. This cut is uh, 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 from this four pi for the Bayes limit. Means that our parameter space just stick near the very very near the, the perturbative uh, limit, and then this nine is a uh, unitarity uh, limit based on the S wave. So you can see still is one order magnitude allowed, and then with the ridiculous density including in in the chi square, the allowed region reduced. For X gamma ray, let's uh, quickly look again. This is why this is uh, gamma ray positions. So the mass allowed, uh, as I, I mentioned many times, we need a 10 to minus 26 around. And then in the in the contour is uh, two, two, two sigma, outer contour is three sigma. And then you can see after the ridiculous density include, the out, allowed region shrink to up to the 25 GeV to 40 GeV. So let's have a look at the parameter space. The parameter space, as I say, we have uh, the dark matter mass and the, uh, the dark matter uh, gauge boson coupling and then the missing. The 
G, Gx, which is uh, the coupling between the dark matter and the X boson, is uh, required to be greater than 0.4 in three sigma region. And uh, the best fit points is close to the perturbative uh, limit, 4 pi. <coughs> Z resonance, which you can see in here, Z resonance owes to the uh, enhancement of uh, missing M chi 3 around the M and Z. Z resonance is disappeared. The figure on the left hand side is without ridiculous density. And then figure on, on the right hand side is with a ridiculous density. With a ridiculous density, you can see the resonance region is gone. So, Z resonance is disappeared if one consider ridiculous density constraint. And then this missing angle side, chi, has to be <coughs> 10 to minus 20. Uh, 10 to minus 7, except the Z resonance region. My Yonana dark matter is almost a rule out and uh, remind a narrow, narrow parameter space. And then what's the situation of a dark dark matter? You can see, compared to my Yonana, it's more border region. And then, because uh, as we, we just see in, in the previous uh, table, the rock, uh, dark matter cannot produce uh, correct ridiculous density. So, the border parameter space is allowed both on the gamma and the X-ray experiment. Ridiculous density is too large because the causation is P-wave su suppressed. And then in the parameter space, if we don't, because of really, it's no point to, to consider ridiculous density again. Namely, uh, this model is uh, excluded by ridiculous density, but it's still very good for these two experiments. You can see, compared to the Mayanana case, the parameter space, the occupied region, is bolder, much bolder. Uh, you, you might remember this covering in the Mayanana case it's almost a, a 9 point something. But in here, it's located between 0.2 to 1.6. And then, uh, for this uh, missing, <coughs> missing uh, also you can see this similar behavior. And the most important uh, is this uh, 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 mass stability. You can still see this uh, uh, resonance in here. So compared with my another case, the rock dark matter has uh, more freedom. So uh, th this distributes uh, widely. The resonance can be seen in this panel, which cannot seen cannot be seen in the my another case. This missing side high is uh, with the order of uh, ten to minus nine, except uh, this resonance region. The rock dark matter produce too much ridiculous density. So summary. Let me first use this uh, uh, table as a, a summary. This is the best fit point. And then, uh, let's see for the constraint of a GC plus process. The p-value in here, it looks good, but ridiculous density is not good. But if we include in ridiculous density, p value is very good. And then everything is uh, agreed, at least agreed in, in the two sigma. However, for the rock case, since it, it doesn't agree with ridiculous density at all, so the p value is zero. Although you can see p value and for this uh, 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 GC gamma ray and the GC process, the rock case has much better p value than these two cases. And then <coughs> we also show this uh, uh, three sigma confidence region in here. Okay, my last slide. With uh, SU2X, this uh, uh, dark uh, SU2, and the uh, listeners enhancement, X boson mass with uh, two, 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 and dark matter mass one can explain both GC, gamma ray, and the 
3.5 kV X-ray. Sorry, I didn't write. Myelana dark matter can also, uh, dark matter also fulfill the dark matter release density, but the rock dark matter cannot. The required kinematic emission is very small. Psi pi is less than 10 to the minus 7. The favor mass of a myelana dark matter is between 25 to 40, but the rock dark matter is between 16 to 56. Both myelana and the dark dark matter can hardly detect in direct detection. Myelana case is a velocity separation, so you cannot detect in a direct detection. And the dark dark matter, because this is very small missing, so uh, very hard to detect in a direct detection. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I have one question. Mm -hmm. you, inter you interested very strong interaction in C2 export. Yes. And the, that matter here is just interaction. Mm -hmm. So, do you expect zoomer phase size enhancement? Summer fear enhancement, actually, as you know, summer fear enhancement is uh, important for, for you know, the, the ratio between the gauge boson and the, the, the dark matter mass, right? Yeah. And then if this ratio is close to each other, then uh, some of your enhancement is not important. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see. So do you include this width for XC2X boson in your calculation? Width. Width. Width, yes. So how you evaluate it? How, how I evaluate the X uh, boson's width? width? Because the, it, uh, con it contributes to the graph you wrote. Mm -hmm. So the width effect seems to be important. Yeah, but uh, the width we include, but yeah. it, 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 looks, it seems like okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? Actually, is there another abandoned gauge symmetry in our model? What do you mean? Another gauge symmetry? Yeah, abandoned. Another U1X, uh, I don't know, maybe you, <laughs> let me call out to the <laughs> this uh, model builder. <laughs> Could you answer this question? What, what was the question? I didn't hear the question. Yeah, I mean, he's talking about like kinematic emission. Maybe it's from a two, two one kinematic emission, like that the SDT equals to boson to the U1X. Very high. Any other question? So, if no more questions, let us thank the speaker once again.